Welcome to a very special episode of Orlando Live. I'm Raisa Pascal and today we are at Full Sail University for the Florida premiere of Conquering Kilimanjaro. We're going to go inside and have a talk with some of the people behind this inspirational film. We are here for the Florida premiere of the first ever documentary that our company has made called Conquering Kilimanjaro, the world's highest freestanding mountain, almost 20,000 feet. And we're always looking for stories of ordinary people that are doing extraordinary things. And I learned that two of my friends were going on it. I became interested and, in, you know, one of the basic tenets of our company is say yes. Um, you know, far too many of us say no when we're presented with opportunities, so I said yes, and I hiked Mount Kilimanjaro with 16 amazing people, ended up with a movie out of it. Survivor Summit, it's a, an annual trek up Mount Kilimanjaro. 16 cancer survivors and cancer advocates climbed to 20,000 feet together when we found out that Mark had an opportunity to do that. And then in addition to that, to be able to document the entire thing, we said, you have to do it. And what he was able to capture on video you know, has come together into this absolutely amazing documentary. The response has been overwhelmingly inspirationally positive for us. You know, we set out to do what, what Mark and some of the people on the climb have joked was going to be the best home video you ever saw. And what it has turned out to be is a story about these 16 people focusing on four cancer survivors and their journey, not just up to 20,000 feet, but in their journey to overcome disease, to overcome cancer. Tonight is a great opportunity for Full Sail University to host the Florida premiere of Conquering Kilimanjaro. Uh, what's really great about it is that earlier today, some of our students had an opportunity to engage the makers of the film. So to have the filmmakers on campus talking directly with our students was just remarkable. My wife and I, Josie, uh, we founded Runway to Hope, and of course the focus on children with cancer, pediatric cancer. But you know, cancer is cancer, and, and whenever it strikes, it's, it's a terrible thing to deal with. And, when you look at somebody as outwardly as healthy as Wendy, you know, who can just climb a Kilimanjaro, and then to, you know, still be battling cancer for the third time, you know, it just tells you how randomly it can strike, and it can strike anybody. So you want to be here to support and, and, and get the word out. I worked with Wendy Tioji for almost 10 years, and she is the bomb. Um, I ended up with breast cancer exactly 10 years after she had it, so we have that in common. I just love her and Mark Middleton and Bill Schaefer and Katie and Jackie and the Growing Boulder team and I just think this is an amazing cause. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Going in I thought it would just be a hike. You know, because you hear there's no ropes and it, it's not hands and feet mostly, but it was way more difficult than I or any of us thought it was. Um, but it made getting to the top altogether as one team even more special. And kind of like, you can do anything, even if people think it's impossible and think you can't do it, if you just work as a team and go for it. It's so easy to kind of look the other way because it's painful. Nobody wants to see other people suffer. But the more the public is made aware and the more they're aware that different types of cancers are out there and that it can be indiscriminate in the way it strikes, then it gets the word out and it gets more support, more money, and the more that then goes towards cures and treatments. We hope will inspire people to believe that anything is possible, that if you surround yourself with people that you care about, you can accomplish amazing things, and that life is worth fighting for no matter how dire uh, circumstances might seem. Tonight is just an example of how we can bring the community together to support an amazing cause, support amazing people that are doing things that should inspire all of us. And so seeing what these cancer survivors and advocates can do against some of the most difficult environmental, physical, and mental challenges, I think it really gives us all hope that we can conquer cancer, we can conquer Kilimanjaro, and we can make a huge difference in the world. This has been Orlando Live, and for more information on Conquering Kilimanjaro, be sure to check out www.conqueringkilimanjaro.com. I'm your host, Ray Pascal. Thanks for being with us. Don't forget to keep Orlando awesome.